And so irrespective of what the engine says about the moves, the person with white is happy. So if you never sacrificed anything, neither player, and then the engine said blunder, 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 and then you won, you'd be like, man, that was a bad game, but I won. He both blundered. But here, it doesn't matter what the engine says. White's very proud of himself because he sacked material, it was sound, and he won. And the fact that Black's defense was absurd, that's, that's irrelevant. And if you're, the stronger you are at chess, you know, up until the world champion, you, you get madder and mad at yourself when you play unsound sacrifices and the engine says you're worse even when you win. And obviously the time to do that is to do it when you're worse. I have a worse position, I sacrificed material, the game was crazy, then I won. Then you're sort of proud of yourself because you don't just want to suffer the whole game being worse, so you change it up. And White's sacrifices this game were pretty good. I mean, I was impressed. So if I was White this game, I would be impressed with Rook takes F8, Queen G6, Queen G7. I would be like, wow, I'm great. So, but the thing is, no matter how unsound White's play is, if the low rated player wins with White, they're proud of themselves. This game, I would be proud of myself, even if it's not justified. But I've seen games where guys sack all their pieces and the engine says plus 28 for the other guy, then the other guy hangs mate and one. Then they're like, yeah, I sacked all my pieces and I mated him. And I'm like, you sacked all your pieces, you were dead lost, and the guy hung mate and one when he could have had 20 moves that won. And they don't care about that. All they know is they sacked all their pieces and won.